Stewie, I don't think this is gonna work. We're never gonna raise enough money to pay back Padma's father. Trust me, Brian, there are a billion people here, and almost every one of them has a tapeworm. Yes, excuse me, I have a tapeworm. All right, very good. Lie down on your stomach, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're a lady, and you sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. You know, even though you and Peter have your differences, I'm glad it hasn't affected our friendship. Us redheads have to stay together, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is stuck at work. Honey, please, Lois is a friend. Really, Nicole, you got the wrong idea. How does this bitch know my name? Bitch? Okay, ho. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come on now, ladies. Awesome. A chick chick and chick fight. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood, understood. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell, to the boiler room of hell, all the way down. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid. Ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. All right, you guys, I will now do anything for $10. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you 10 bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Pay up. Uh, actually, you owe me 20. Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. He does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> ha, 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 I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, Meg, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. Stop throwing your kids' diapers in the trash with all the soda cans! Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fievel Mouskowitz. Oh, well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya! I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! <sighs> Please. Don't. Why won't you die? <laughs> Shh. Shh. That's right. I'm your dad. Your gentle suburban dad. Oh, what a twist. Shh. Hey, Dad. Sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you, no matter how useless you are in a paddle boat. But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. <laughs> 